Now for something completely different, we're going to listen to a track by Tom McIntyre, singer-songwriter. This was recorded here in the shop. Um, we did two tunes in an afternoon, maybe four hours, and uh, came back and did a couple overdubs. But basically everything you hear was performed live. Um, there's no EQ on any of the tracks, and there's no compression on anything except the bass guitar and the vocal. And we're just going to take that track, which is uh, um, a little bit on the dull side because of the way it was recorded, particularly since a lot of ribbon mics were used in, in this recording. And we're going to um, see what we can do to make it sound um, a little more exciting and interesting. It's the same damned old story It's a tale without end And it's been told through the ages And then down man to man About a By the way, this recording was done entirely with VT2, uh, VT12, and VT1 mic preamps, VT7 compression, and VT5 and VT4 equalizers. In fact, in this whole recording, and on the one we're going to play after this, there were no solid-state devices used whatsoever in the entire recording except for the solid-state stages in the um, digital converters. So this is a 100% vacuum tube uh, recording. It was even monitored with a vacuum tube power amplifier. Now we're going to listen to another one of uh, the tunes from Tom McIntyre done at the same session. Again, no EQ used on it. This is a much simpler track. Um, very simple instrumentation. Allows you to hear a little bit more of the detail of what's going on in a lot of this. So let's just listen to the track. I'm going to go through my normal procedure that I would go through setting up EQ and compression and then we'll switch in and out and listen to it both ways. Today's the day we eat our turkey. Today we'll watch the big parade. Football games on the TV Doesn't matter who's playing Today we'll gather with our families And all give thanks for all we have I know the thanks that I'll be giving For the gathering of the clan A few more weeks it will be Christmas 
any luck, we'll be back then. We'll sit around a cozy fire and sing old songs from way back when. We'll each unwrap our Christmas presents and each exchange our Christmas thanks. Know the best gift I'll be given is the gathering of the clan. When I die, I'll go to heaven, and if I do, won't that be? Unwrap our Christmas presents and each 
each exchange our Christmas thanks I know the best gift I'll be given Is the gathering of the clan I do, won't that be grand? I'll see my friends and my relations We'll be together once again We'll share some laughs and tell old stories About the good lives that we had I'll thank my God that I was living To see the gathering of the clan Today's the day we eat our turkey Today we'll watch the big Football games on the TV Doesn't matter who's playing They will gather with our families One thing that I hope you noticed in this is that despite the fact that we were using some pretty extreme settings here and there, that it was really difficult to make the track sound truly bad. That's one of the goals of uh, my equipment design is to help keep us out of trouble so that we can't adjust things in such a way that it's just something we would never use and it just sounds bad. Sometimes you need that kind of thing and there are other tools out there for doing that, but that's not the function of these. Now we've shown the VT7 and the VT5 on the mix bus, which is a typical application, but you can use these on all kinds of things. So if you have individual tracks when you're cutting them or in the mix. Um, you can use them on individual tracks. You heard the VT7 on the vocal track and also on the bass track on that last one that we heard. And uh, so you can see that they're very useful for that kind of uh, tracking application as well. Now, purposely, we haven't talked a lot about all the different controls here and explain what everything does. So if you haven't already watched the VT7 and the VT5 uh, tutorials, might be a good idea to go back and look at those, or even if you have seen them, look at them again now that you have a little bit better understanding of how these things sound. So um, I hope that you'll be able to utilize these tools in your own recording, whether you're using this equipment or anything else, to help you get better recordings.